Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick little update. I really don't have much to say right now. Uh, I just today, uh, which for you guys will be yesterday, you'll see this on Saturday, I had it happen on Friday, um, got this little splint removable cast thing on, so it's getting better. There was still a fracture. They want me in this for another month, but I can take it out, move it around, use it a little bit. Just I can't be too aggressive on it. So it's a lot better. Uh, it's more comfortable. Obviously, being able to let my skin breathe is awesome, but it sucks that I still won't be able to ride. I was really hoping they'd say, yeah, it's all healed, but just a little bit longer to go. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm so busy working on the van anyway. Um, I don't really have time to ride anyway. i got to get that done for my trip to Dallas for the SBK ride in uh, about a month and a half here. So um, there's that. Uh, speaking of the van, if you haven't been watching the build series, definitely go check it out. I'm starting to make some really good progress. You're going to see tomorrow on Sunday uh, part five, which is going to be installing the wall racks and the wall boards. So that's kind of like the first or the last step in really getting kind of all the, I guess, covering covering the inside of the van. So everything else from then on should be like really, really cool, like big moves, uh, cool gadgets, stuff like that. So uh, we'll have that for part five. Part six will be making the bed frame, which I'm currently working on. Still got dirty hands. I just finished welding that up. But um, yeah, so definitely go check those out. Uh, also, just a quick reminder, we do have the No Sane Person Has Truly Lived posters uh, still for sale. Um, those will likely always be available. Uh, I've got about seven of them made up still, so if you want to get those, I don't really want to run another big batch right away, so if you want one now, you better go grab it. It'd make things a lot easier for me and a lot, e a lot easier and quicker for you to get it. So other than that, I got these cool light bars for the van, a little sneak peek into what will be coming with that. It's a 52 inch and a 20 inch. I got them from Light Bar Supply. They're dirt cheap. It was like 130 bucks for the both both of those, and I plugged them in. They seem to work just fine. They're waterproof, so I don't really know what more you'd want in a light bar. I don't know why you'd pay 1,200 bucks for one when you can get one for 100 bucks. Well, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching.